Good evening. It's been more than a year and a half since Allegheny County's Juvenile Detention Center closed, and at the same time, youth gun violence has been on the rise. And now Allegheny County Council is looking at possible solutions. KDK's Jennifer Barresso is live with what they're weighing. Jen. Yeah, Ken, well, legislation was sent to the Public Safety Committee, and they're looking at a juvenile justice study, potentially reopening former Schumann Detention Center, which is behind me. Now, a vote could come in a couple of weeks, and the full Allegheny County Council will vote on it. The Schumann Juvenile Detention Center in Pittsburgh has been closed for more than a year and a half now, after the state shut it down for violations. But rising teen crime has caught the attention of Allegheny County Council. I do think we need to have some place to send these kids that are committing violent crimes, crimes with guns and things of that nature that are too young to be sent to jail. Tuesday, a motion referred to Council's Public Safety Committee to look at a juvenile justice study to potentially reopen the center or something like it. No exact location has been decided. Some argued a new juvenile center needs to be more than just a place for punishment. Tim Stevens is the CEO of Black Political Empowerment Project. If there is a center, it needs to be as sensitive, as comprehensive in its services as possible as professional as possible, as clean as possible, as of service as possible. One man told council a privately owned facility is a big mistake. We think that programs, we think that helping these kids, trying to keep them out of jail or any detention center is the best way to go. But we think the biggest mistake would be to hand the keys over to a private jailer who was motivated to keep that center filled. That would be a bad mistake for the council to make. County Councilman at large Sam DeMarco talked about his vision. I think the potential is uh, for us to have uh, a nonprofit entity that specializes in corrections, that that's their core competency. They have to get, whether it be mental health or any other assistance that we can provide. But I think we need a holistic approach to this and this is just a small part of it. Schumann is not the answer to the problems we have out there. And Ken, the county president Pat Katina telling me that we need to do better because the former Schumann in his words was a failure. He said a vote in the public safety committee could come in a couple of weeks. The full board will vote after that. Now, County Executive Richard Gerald's office is pursuing solutions, perhaps a county run facility or creating a public private partnership. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News. Thanks, Jen.